Hey guys, so I just got back from my NARS appointment at Sephora. Ooh, that's exciting, right? Uh, so yeah, I've actually had to wait two weeks for this because I went in last week and I got the date wrong. <laughs> Fail. So I went in again today and got the right date. So yes, they were actually uber busy in Sephora. There was like 40,000 people in there. So it was like 20 minutes late. I mean, the appointment was moved back a little bit, so I didn't mind waiting. Um, so yeah, um, I met with the nose artist, and she sat me down and did my makeup. And here's the result. I'll show you that in a second. Let me tell you about this girl first. So she was incredible. Like, I honestly did not know what to expect, um, having an appointment with someone to do my makeup. Because at MAC, they know me, and of course they're going to try products on stuff, because, you know, we're cool on MAC. We're cool. But it's always a little bit scary um, seeing whether they're, they're going to be like, oh, it's a boy, like, are we going to recommend, like, one product for him and be like, all right, good for you, or whether they're actually going to treat me like a person. And she was the most, like, accepting, sweet person ever. We were just chatting, having a good time. She had, like, so many tips, and, like, I've heard a lot of tips on YouTube. Like, I've seen, you know once you get on YouTube for a while. But, like, she just had so many great tips, and, like, I learned so much stuff from her. And, like, I just didn't want it to end. Like, we were just, like... You know when you go to a makeup counter some of the times, you feel like they're just trying to sell products, like, push, push, push products on you, and you're like, ooh, back off. And other times, you feel like they're your best friend. You're just, like, there to chill and have fun, right? Well, this was totally, like, best friend. Like, she... I don't know, like, there was just a bond there, and she was just so sweet. I actually told her about my YouTube, so if you're watching this, hi. I told her, like, my channel and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was just amazing. And here's the look she did. She was so sweet, she actually wrote down all the products that she used on a face chart. Was that sweet of her? Christine is her name. Look, she signed it all cute. Christine. Amazing. So she used Siberia Sheer Glow Foundation. Um, flesh powder, pore refining primer, lengthening mascara, um, the pro smudge proof eyeshadow base. The eyeshadow do is Jolie Poupe. And then the lip is Chelsea Girls. It's like a lip lacquer pot. It's like a nude color. And then the blush is Taos. Just like, yeah. So let me show you. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. But I uh, like purple. Like Jolie Poupe. And then Taos on the cheek. And then the nude lip. Yeah, so she did an amazing job. I was so impressed. I was just, it was amazing. So yeah, let me show you what I actually got. Um, I picked up the foundation in Sheer Glow. In Sheer Glow. In Siberia. Sheer Glow foundation. And my shade is Siberia. So let me tell you about Sheer Glow. I have gotten samples of this before, but every time it's like way too dark. Like the shade Doville, I believe someone matched me before. But it really wasn't a good match. So it was good to actually have an artist match it really well. And, like, um, I think she was a little bit scared of it being Siberia since this is the lightest shade. And I was a little bit too. But she told me it, it oxidizes on the skin so it turns, like, a little bit darker. Warms it up a bit. And it is, like, a perfect match, as you can see. I love it. So I'm finally glad... To know my sheer glow, sheer glow shade, so I picked this up. That's what it looks like. Sheer glow foundation. A lot of people rave about this. I'm definitely gonna do a review on this, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm so glad that she was finally able to put my hunt to rest. So then the other thing that I got um, was one of the sets. So Nars and Sephora made these little sets. They collaborated. And this one's called Fashion Forward. Is that not the cutest thing? And it contains four products, and I will show you. I actually just opened this now, so I'm like, you open it up, there's like little black papers. Everything was wrapped individually, all cute, really cute. And it comes with this, fashion forward. And it has like the how-to, with like the little, the look. Cute. All right, so the first thing it comes with is a lip gloss in Easy Lover. I have reviewed Nars' lip gloss formula, so you can check that out if you want. This is a 
It looks like an uber bright pink shade, but it goes on sheer. So it's like a sheer pink. Gorgeous. Love it. Can't wait to play with this. So yeah, Easy Lover Lip Gloss comes with that. Oh, by the way, this set is $59, and I believe it's like an $85 to $90 value. So, uh, yeah, you're saving some money there. So if you've always wanted to try NARS, this is a good way to try it, and try out a bunch of products and see whether you like them or not. So there's that. Oh, and I apologize if I sound sick. I've been sick all week, and it's just, uh, so that's why I sound gross. Um, so next it comes with a Soft Touch Shadow Pencil in Hollywood Land, Like a gold. This is actually from Nars' Spring Collection, but it's permanent, I believe, now. And it looks like this. It's like a gold pencil. Really pretty. And there it is, right there. Do you see that? Yeah. Gorgeous. I actually, the one of the main reasons I got this set was for this pot product, and because it was a greater value, um, totaled. Because I saw a NARS artist on YouTube actually talk about this, and, and he recommended to try it on the lips, like put on the lips, and then put a lipstick or lip gloss on top, and I was like, ooh, right? So I tried it with, my champagne colored pencil on the lips and then I put uh, a gloss on top and it looked so amazing. Like it had this like dimension and this like glow. It was just gorgeous. So that's why I picked this up for this. And yeah, it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this out and to try it on the eyes, of course. Um, yeah, so there's Hollywood Land. Next it comes with a single eyeshadow. Look at how cute this is. This is my first NARS single shadow. It's like a little baby. In Daphne. This was from their fall collection, but now it's permanent. And it is purple. <laughs> As you can see, it's just like a intense matte blue violet shade. Yeah. It didn't swatch very well, but I was warned about that. Temptalia said it works way better in practice than in swatch. So, yeah, there's a swatch. But like most matte shades, it will work better on the eye. So I'm excited for that. And finally, it comes with, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at how cute, oh my goodness. The Orgasm Mini Multiple. Look at how cute, oh my goodness. So the multiple, if you don't know, you can um, are designed to use on the lips or the eyes or the cheeks, wherever you want on the face. And this is like a little mini, mini version. And you just twist it up. It's like a little cream stick. In orgasm. It's so cute. This is gonna be like, ah. Oh. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see. Yeah, you can see. See it? Yeah. It's like that peachy pink, glowy color. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That would actually probably be really pretty on the lips too, with like a gloss on top. Oh, wonderful. So yeah, this set is amazing. Amazing value. Definitely check out all the sets. I definitely recommend them. I recommend NARS in general. Um, if you're a Sephora has an appointment, definitely go do it. It totally made my night. Totally made me feel better because I was, like, feeling sick. And she totally just brightened up my day. So thank you, Christine. And that was just amazing. So, yeah. That is my NARS experience. Stay tuned for another haul that I'll have coming up soon. But, yeah. That is all for now, guys. So tell me what you think about NARS. Whether you've tried these products. Um, love them, hate them, I don't know, just talk about ours. Alright, that's all for now, guys. Bye.